welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today's tip is for any of you out there that have kind of been interested in delving into block printing. Um, it is fascinating, it is super fun, and it kind of has like this enhanced payoff because once you do some of the hard work of cutting the block, making the prints is really easy. So you can make a whole lot of artwork, um, which is a little bit of, you know, a little bit of energy here. So we have this new block printing kit available from Speedball, now available in our holiday sales flyer. But I wanted to kind of show it to you and show you how easy this is, how much fun it is, and you can see all of the cool stuff that's inside. So we're gonna open this up and I'll show you what we got. All right, so one, I've already messed in this box and it's quite messy, but this is going to be um, our roller um, that we're gonna use to um, even out the ink. You will get a mounted lino block um, that you can cut. This one's a little bit tougher and we're not gonna be demoing on that one today. Um, we are going to be using this pink Speedy Carve block. I really like the Speedy Carve blocks because they're well, one, you can see it's softer. Um, it's not as rigid and stuff like that. And they're very, very easy to cut. We also have a um, 2.5 ounce thing of black ink. And then we have a 1.5 ounce and yellow, blue, um, red, and then they got ink extender if you want to. So almost like a little bit of a medium or a retarder. So we don't need this because I've already started pre-cutting this. And what I did was I kind of decided what size I wanted to use. And then I came up with like a little design. I thought, ooh, well, this will be fun if I can make like almost like a Chinese chop with like my initials on it. And then you could just kind of print it on things when you're you know, finished, or maybe use it as like a little monogram. Now this is what we're gonna use to ink. Um, we're gonna put a little ink on here and we'll spread it around. What I did to start out was, I figured out what my design was gonna be. And then because, specifically because it's lettering, you need to make sure that you understand in block printing, whatever you're cutting out will print in reverse, you know, because you're basically turning it face down. So if you want the letters to read correctly, they need to face the other direction. So because I'm very low functioning at times, um, I basically sketched my thing out <laughs> really quick and then photographed it with my phone and reversed the image and then sketched it on there. Cause that's just way easier for my brain <laughs> who, who, the, who at times uh, needs some help. Then the other thing I wanted to show you is, is this is your cutting tool. And the nice part is that in this speedball kit, you get five different cutting attachments, okay? Um, and it has like a little chuck here at the end. Um, we have like a wide, super wide one. We have a deep V. Um, this one is for like gouging out like big areas that you're trying to move through quickly. This one um, does like really sharp like scoops and lines and stuff. But you'll notice all of them have this like spoon-like round receiving end. And then that part goes around um, the little bearing that's on the inside. And then you just basically slip the, um, the tool down in there and then just tighten the chuck. And so it's, it's fine. Um, I am using this really, really delicate one because a lot of the cutting on this I've already done, you know, uh, just for expediency. So we're gonna take all of our little bits that we, bits and bobs that we aren't gonna be using right now and they go cute and nice and sweet in the handle. And then we don't have to worry about losing them or storing them elsewhere. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to go ahead and cut on this block. You can see where I've got my like little lines that I made with just a Sharpie, you know, um, when I was sketching it in. And then basically you put just a little bit of pressure and then push and you can see how it just peels right up. And then you have these like little bits that come off of there. And we're gonna do the second line right here to finish out our square. What they advise that you do is you take like a, a brush, 
to get any excess like little pieces that you don't want off. Now I have to cut the, the dot for my letter J. So I'm just gonna spin her around and take that part out. I don't think I got all of it that I wanted there. So we're gonna take it out like that. There we go. Kind of had a little belly button in there. There we go. All right. So we got all of that business done. Now, what I did was I actually pre-prepared a little piece of watercolor paper that we're going to print onto, like so. But first, we need to show you how to ink what we're doing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some blue because I want to use some blue. And we're going to, we don't need that much because it's not, it's, you know, <laughs> it's an inch and a half wide, it's not that big. Um, so this is water-based. You don't have to worry about cleaning it up. It'll clean up very, very easily. And we're gonna take our brayer right here. It's a roller and it has like a, a spongy silicone roller on it and we're just going to roll this out if we can get the little guy started there we go so, and this is so that you get a really really even coat on the brayer for when you're applying the ink onto your block okay so we got it all nice and distributed there next thing we're gonna do is we're going to move that. We're going to take our block and we are going to gently, not like super hard, like squish it down in there. We're going to ink our little block and then we're gonna set our brayer down. And then we're gonna take our block, turn it face down onto our surface and press. And then, boop, there we go. And I think it looks kind of cool. Interesting little, little thing. And the good part is that you can just wash this off with soap and water. It's ready to use again and again. You can vary the colors, like by putting multiple colors on here and then running the brayer through and then creating gradients and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, but the great part is that you will have this block to create with whatever you want from here on out. So it's kind of like um, a little bit of art that keeps on giving. So I uh, hope this was informative and you get a, a little bit of understanding about how block printing works and maybe a little bit of inspiration here or there. Uh, so thanks for watching and we hope that you enjoy. Mm -hmm.